welcome once again to my channel and this time we are looking at um, a, a linear algebra now we are to find the value of x find the value of x y z and w if this is what we have been given over here now this is a linear algebra so we have um, 5 then the square brackets x here z here y and w equal to the square bracket 2 10 3 2x plus y then we have z 5 7 and w here then the square bracket okay so we have to find the value of x y z and w now if you look at um over here we have x here right we have x here we also have x here so now in order to take um, this find the value of x we are going to take um where the position of x is we have to take at the same position now this is a two by three match the two by two matrix over here so we're going to take if x is here then which means that comparing the x to the other values at this side is that we are going to take x here then take this being equal to two here then we take the z right and we also take um z here then we take 10 and also take 5 so that's how we are going to compare the values to find each of the variables so now let's start with x now we have x here so we have x being equal to 2 then we have z here also so yeah so we are going to check now we have x then equal to 2 then at that same position plus z to find the value of x but you see we don't know the value of z so let's, let's consider this as equation one right now let's look at y so we have y and we have y equal to 3 then plus 7 over here now remember there was a um a constant outside here so five it their constants over here multiplies each of the variables over here so five multiply x so it's supposed to be 5x right okay so we take y equal to 3 then plus 7 here so we take 5y equal to this 3 then plus 7 so 3 plus 7 then we have 5y equal to 10 then we have 5 dividing each of the sides then we have 2 here so therefore we have y equal to 2 so we have the value of y now let's look at um z or z here so let's look at um let's look at w or let's look at z now we have z we can also take this and take that also so for z so for z for z for z we can have um z being equal to 2 then b z equal to 10 sorry but remember there is a constant here so it's multiplied so we have 5z equal to 10 then we take the last part then plus 5 here so we have 5z being equal to oh, oh. so we take 5z equal to 10 plus 5 is just 15 5 divide each of the side then we have 3 here so z here equal to 3 so now we have the value of y, we have the value of z. Now we establish that 5x is equal to 2 plus z. So we can substitute the value of z here. So having that, then we can have for x. So for x, we can have um, 5x equal to 2 plus z. And therefore 5x is equal to 2 plus 3, which is equal to 5x. So we have 5x equal to 5 here. 5 divide each of the side. Then we have x equal to 1. So that's the value of one, um, x. Now let's look at the last variable. So we have the last variable, which is... That is 4. 
y okay we have the value we have z we have x and what is left is just um w so we are left with w so for w we have um so we can take this that and another w so we have w equal to 2x plus y then plus w so we have remember the constants multiply say so 5w minus w equal to 2x plus y then we have 4w equal to 2x is just the value of s is just 1 so we have 1 plus then the value of y is 2 so 1 plus 2 then from here we can have 4w equal to 4 then we divide each side by 4 then therefore w should be equal to 1 so therefore x is equal to 1 y equal to 2 z equal to 3 and w equal to 1 so this is what we have and thank you very much and i'll see you in another section